Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we'd uh, examine some different Arduinos and find out just how fast they are. I mean, do we really know how fast they are? Well, you're saying to yourself, well, of course we do. All you have to do is look right here on the crystal. Let us zoom in. And, sorry, I know that's upside down. But that says 16 megahertz. So all of the Arduinos with the Atmega 328P, which include the Uno and the Nano, are going to operate at 16 megahertz. Well, what about the Mega? Well, if we look, the Mega is also 16, 16 megahertz. Well, I just can't find the angle there, can I? Okay. What about the micro? Well, the micro is also operating at 16 megahertz. There we go. You can actually read that one. So all these are operating at 16 megahertz. So I've set up a little test. I simply wrote a sketch that turns the LED on and off as quickly as it can. It's just uh, in, the, in the setup function, we say pin mode uh, 13 output. And in the loop section, we say digital rate 13 high, digital rate 13 low. So it turns it on, turns it off. And I have my scope attached here to 13 and ground and we can see just exactly how fast it is so let's go and take a look at the scope just real quickly here here's the simple sketch we're running in setup it says pin mode 13 output and loop we have digital right 13 high digital right 13 low so that's about as fast as we can go and here's the scope and you can see we are getting a nice square wave but let's look at the measurements our frequency is only a hundred and forty five point five kilohertz and our period is six point eight seven microseconds with a pulse width on an on width that's our high signal when the LED is on of 3.38 microseconds and and off that's our low of 3.50 microseconds so where is everything going well the answer is in these two commands right here in order to give us the nice easy to understand digital right 13 high and digital right 13 low there's quite a lot of overhead that has to be done every time we execute the loop and that's where we're losing some time but we can make it up so if we get rid of these two commands here and we replace them with some port commands what we're doing is we're saying port B which is where digital 13 is in its bit 5 we're turning it on and then we're turning it off and this B here just stands for binary so if we send that to the Arduino
Okay, we're uploading. We are done uploading. Let's bring up the scope. We'll change our trigger sweep to auto. And look at that. We have definitely increased. We are now at 2.667 megahertz and our on pulse width has changed to 62.5 nanoseconds and our off pulse width is 313 nanoseconds. So why is the off longer than the on? Well, because it is executing this loop function. So there's a couple extra commands there. All right, let's try this with a different chip. How about we go to the Mega, which has the Atmel 2560 chip, and see if the speed is any different. All right, I've got the Uno hooked up here with the, the uh, scope probe on digital 13 and ground. And I know it looks like that LED is on solid, but it's just blinking really fast. So if we look at the scope, we can see our frequency is 83.33 kilohertz, which is slower than the Uno at 145.5 kilohertz. So what's up with that? Even the pulse widths are about twice what it was. I'm actually surprised here. I, I thought the Mega would have been faster than the Uno. All right. Moving on. Okay, what about the Pro Micro? It's using the 32U4 processor. Still with the 16 uh, megahertz chip. How fast is it? Let's go take a look on the scope. Well, the Pro Micro is clocking in at 91.95 kilohertz. So it's in the middle. It's faster than the Mega, but slower than the Uno. <laughs> all very interesting, right? So where does all this leave us? Is there any way that we can get a faster Arduino? Well, the Arduino 101 with the Intel Curie processor is clocked at 32 megahertz. The Maker 1000 with the Sam D21 Cortex M0 processor is clocked at 48 megahertz. And the fastest is the Arduino Due with the Sam B18 or the Sam 318E at 84 megahertz. Now, I don't have any of those uh, Arduinos on hand, but what I do have is an Adafruit Feather, which has the same processor as the Maker 1000, the Sam D21 Cortex M0 clocked at 48 megahertz. So let's see what happens when we try it with this one. All right, we've uploaded the same digital write, high digital write low to the Sam D21 Cortex M0 processor of this feather. You can see the LED is, looks like it's solid, but it's actually blinking. And if we go over and look at the scope, you can see we have a frequency of 289.2 megahertz or kilohertz. So that's the fastest yet, 289.2, and our pulse width is 1.4, which is um, a little less than half of what we were getting from the Uno, which was the fastest one before. So. There so, we have it. And the results of our tests for the digital write, high digital write low 
just a basic speed test of the Arduino. How fast can it off, can it execute two commands? So the Uno clocked in at 145.5 kilohertz. The Mega at 83.3 kilohertz. The Micro at 91.91 kilohertz. And the Feather, which we're just going to call the Maker 1000, clocked in at 289.2 kilohertz so all of these boards at 16 megahertz and this one at 48 megahertz all clocked in at different speeds the mega and the micro very close the uno significantly faster and of course when we go up to the uh, the arm processor I mean, we're just, we're almost twice the speed. So I hope you found this helpful in figuring out uh, what Arduino might be best for you. If you did, please give me the big old thumbs up. Feel free to like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Well, that's it. That's the end of the video. Why are you still here?